Well, we lost Pete Seeger at the beginning of this year. I'm going to do my version of a Pete Seeger version of Odetta's version of a million people's versions of a song. land come go with me to that land come go with me to that land where I'm bound come go with me to that land come go with me to that land come go with me to that land where I'm bound I'm on my fun. <laughs> I have a lot of fun bringing a song like that to you out there in TV land. Because sometimes TV land doesn't want a song like that. Lots of times TV land doesn't want songs like that. Thank you, Dot. So there's probably a story to not so much all these stickers, but to this guitar too. It was made in 1964. I won't say that's about the year I was born, but maybe. Somewhere in that. And um, I bought it used for a couple hundred bucks. It's a Gibson LGO. It's a three-quarter guitar. A little bit bigger than the kind that Taylor Swift had when she was a little girl. I bought it in Colorado Springs in a music store on Tejon Street near a coffee shop called Poor Richards, which is what Bean and Leaf reminds me of the most. I was just getting out of the army there. Um, which is where one of the lyrics of that freedom song comes from for me. And across the street from there was a, another music store that had another guitar made in 1964, which is about the time this guitar was born. It was an Epiphone Caballero, which is nearly identical to this guitar. 
And that one was also 200 bucks, so I bought it too. I did setups and had it repaired and gussied up and everything. And then a couple years later, I found out that they were sold to me across the street from each other. Those two guitars were made in Kalamazoo, Michigan, by hand on lathes by human beings, at two factories across the street from each other. Wow. Gibson and Epiphone had not been together yet. They were in fierce competition. One would come up with metal tuning pegs. They would have pith holders around metal tuning pegs. One would come up with a rosewood bridge or an ebony bridge or something. They would take the same bridge but put it backwards or something. So that's some of the story of this guitar. I might tell you more later, but I should probably sing another song. <laughs>